Each time someone took a shot, she appeared to come closer and closer. God damn it. Really? Mother. Money. What it is, BHD Army? It's your boy Blasphemous HD. And today, uh, we're f***ing up. Once again, uh, the only way we're not fucking up is the fact that it's daylight outside. You can see it reflecting off the television. Other than that, we're we're f***ing up. Uh, you guys already know scary scares the living f*** out of me. It's only about, oh, what, four hours until uh, it's nighttime? Well, dark right now. Um, so I'm probably going to have nightmares about this. I really, really, really probably am. But, you know, hey, this is what you guys want. You guys want me to watch scary sh You know, if you guys want to watch the original video, the link is in the description down below. It is by Frostmare. Alright, make sure to go check him out, watch some more of his stuff. This video is called Insidious for the real inspiration behind Insidious. Like, the Insidious stories in real life. Like, this was happening in real life. Insidious is one of the scariest movies I've ever seen in my goddamn life. I've purposely avoided Insidious 2, Insidious 3, and I'm not gonna watch Insidious 4. I've purposely avoided Lights Out, which looks scary as you know, um, but yeah, man, wish me luck. Uh, I get a lot of messages telling me, oh, you're faking being scared. I'm like, you realize my biggest videos are from me watching scary shit. If I was faking this shit, I would just watch scary videos and act scared. Unfortunately for y'all, this shit is real. I'm scared as in real life. That's why I only do this shit like once a week or twice a month about this shit. Because if I was bullshit, I would watch nothing but scariest videos and cash out. I it ain't worth it to me, and I'm not gonna do it. Let go. <laughs> this video features the real story and origin behind Insidious. Oh, use your headphones to enjoy our binaural beats. When we sleep, we are very vulnerable to things that right. are not from this world. Some of us are even able to leave their physical body. They can fully detach their spirit, looking down on themselves, and explore the further. Though one must be very careful when attempting astral projection, evil entities are out there in the nether, waiting for you to detach yourself to far. So man, that's why I don't f with scary shit, man. Always gotta be a jump scare, or a close up, or a sound effect and shit. They will try to steal your soul and take possession of your body. In this video, we will take a look at some real stories which have directly inspired the movie Insidious. Insidious is a dark tale in which a sinister ghost of an old woman lures a young boy far into the nether. He falls into a deep coma and is unable to find his way back to his own body. The movie begins with the introduction of Rennie and Josh Lambert, who have recently moved into a new home with their three children. One morning, Rennie looks at some old family pictures with her son Dalton, who asks why there are no pictures of Josh when he was a child. Rennie reasons that he has always been camera shy and disliked taking photos of himself. But a bit later it turns out, that Josh himself was haunted by the malevolent ghost lady. Whenever a picture was taken of him, the lady could be seen. Each time someone took a shot, she appeared to come closer and closer. God damn it. Really? Mother. One evening, Dalton notices the attic door opening and goes to investigate after hearing sounds upstairs. Cause As he's he stupid. Enters inside, he tries to climb an old ladder to switch the light on. But the ladder cracks. As he falls to the ground, he seems to stare in horror at the darkness, as if looking at something terrifying. Shaken, he is put to bed by his parents and told not to play in the attic because it's off limits. The next day, his parents can't seem to wake their son up. Lenny and Josh rush him to the hospital, where the doctors say he is in an inexplicable coma. 
And that is when the horrifying story of sinister demons and ghosts begins. Believe it or not, but there are people in this world who claim to have had experiences that were very similar, only that they happened to them for real. The following stories are entries found in a journal that are believed to be legit and that have directly influenced the movie Insidious. No. It was a very no. old leathery book which also had several pages missing. The first entry goes like this. I do not know if this can affect my spirit when projecting. Also, I would like to add that several of my negative experiences happened during projections I did not attempt myself, but happened naturally. One of the most unique experiences happened several years ago. I found myself drifting from that state of complete awake awareness into sleep when I tried to open my eyes. I immediately knew that I was using my astral sight and not my physical eyes. The very first thing I saw was a man hovering over me. He looked mostly human except for his smile. His smile quite literally reached from one of his ears to the other. You know, I can really do without the background music. You feel me? Like, if y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, tell me the story. Don't scare the shit out of me as well. I don't want to hear the fucked up background. I don't, I'm not trying to shit my pants. His teeth appeared to be pointed. And he looked so incredibly evil, happy. It was like something you would see on the face of the Joker. He had no hair and that his eyes fixed and his hands hovering palms down over my stomach. He looked very satisfied with himself or me, or both. I feel that I began to sit up slightly at this point because his eyes darted from my solar plexus over to my face and my probably wide and fearful stare. Immediately his smile turned to the most evil skull I've ever seen and he lunged at my face with his hands outstretched for my throat. This scared me so much I literally threw everything back into my body and came back to my senses, sitting in my bed. This was years ago, and to this day, I have extremely bad and debilitating stomach problems. I have been to doctors more times than I can count, and they cannot figure out what's wrong or why I experience stomach pain and nausea every day of my life. The entry ends here. Two pages further, the following entry can be found. I very gracefully float away from my body one night. Peace on my brain and light in my heart. I walk out into the main room of my house and out my front door. As I start outside, I look to my left and see a big figure covered with some hooded black mantle standing with its back to me and facing my house its face almost touching the wall. Its shoulders were pulled down, and it swayed back and forth all the time. I felt uneasy immediately, as if it sensed me. It turned and started to come towards me. It had a way of floating about it, as I saw no feet or legs, but watched it come closer. I felt more confident at this moment, because in my head, I felt like I knew why it was here. I felt like it was feeding off of the energy around my home. The way it was swaying and kept looking to the ground made me feel like it was taking something from the energy. I felt the overwhelming confidence of needing to protect my home and my daughter and put my hands out in front of me, palms out. I imagined bright energy flowing from my fingertips towards this being. I watched the bright light flow out of my hands like water. This seemed to work at first because it began to float backwards. But then, as if it could read my mind, it changed again and came at me fast. I got so scared that in my head I said, God please help me and I was immediately and precisionally lifted out of the place. I felt myself rise up, as opposed to my usual falling down sensation that occurs when I go back to my body and soar upwards. 
I then found myself in bed. This was the last sentence of that story, and I am sure there are many more to tell. But we will leave with the knowledge that astral projection might be dangerous, and that for sure unexplainable things are out there in the world that try to feed from energy. Be very careful tonight when you start falling asleep, and watch out for the evil grinning man. He could float above you. Yeah, damn that. I used to want to develop psychic powers because I was a weirdo as a child. I tried to transform into a werewolf one time when I was getting my ass beaten by three kids. It didn't work. And I just got beat the fuck up. I wanted to shoot fire out of my hands. I just decided to stick with lighters. F it. And move things with my mind, but throwing stuff at people with your hands is just easier. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video because Lord knows I did not. It was uh, f***ed up. And now I, I'm gonna have to sleep with the light on tonight because, because f*** this. That's why. If you guys wanna watch the original video, the link is in the description down below. It leads to Frost Mayor TV's channel. Make sure to go check them out, subscribe to them. You know, watch for his other stuff. Twisms.